Hey guys, being able to run commands on your Raspberry Pi remotely is pretty convenient. But unfortunately, if you try to run multiple commands at the same time, your terminal will be blocked until you kill your current task. And that means whatever that's running in the background is no more. But what happens if you wanted to SSH into your Raspberry Pi, start a web server, and then continue running more commands. Sorry, but that's just not going to work. But fear not, because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Screen, which lets you create as many terminal sessions as you need. And more importantly, you can save those terminal sessions, which you can come back to at any time, because they can run forever. So if you wanna follow along, let's get started and initiate an SSH session into your Pi. But if you're not connecting remotely, that's still fine. Just start a new terminal session to follow what I'm doing. So first things first, just run sudo apt-get update to make sure that we have the latest package information. After that, we're ready to install screen by running sudo apt-get install screen. Once screen has been installed, let's go over the basics. So let's say you have ran a command in your main terminal session. So in my case, I've run a very simple echo command. Let's start a new screen session by running screen space dash s and then provide the name of that screen, like my dash screen, for example. Now hit enter and you'll jump into a brand new terminal session within that screen. You can now start running commands inside this new terminal session. So let's say I have a script that runs forever. I'll first use the cd command to jump to that script's directory and then use slash dot followed by the name of that script. So as you can see, my script has started running. And once you're ready to jump back to the main terminal session, just hit control A and then control D. And then if you scroll up, you'll notice that you're back to your main terminal session. So what just happened is that we started a new screen we ran a command inside that screen, and then we detached the screen, which means it's still running in the background. One screen command that's super useful is screen-list, because it helps you see how many screens you currently have running. And now you're probably wondering how you can return to that screen that we started earlier. You can easily get back to any screen using the screen-r command, followed by the name that you gave that screen. And once you run that, boom, our script is still running without any interference. So now let's detach from the screen by pressing Control A followed by D. And now we're back to our main terminal. So the beauty of using screen is you can run as many of them as you need and you can never lose any of your progress. And also notice how easy it is to see that you're detached from all of your screens. But what if you're working inside a screen and forgot which one it was? Don't worry, you can simply just run the screen dash list command. And as you can see, the one you're working inside of is labeled as attached. Awesome, so let's jump back to our main terminal session. So at some point, you will definitely wanna kill older screens that you don't need. You can do this using two ways, by gracefully quitting or force killing the session. So let's go over a graceful exit where you need to be inside the screen by using screen dash R. Once you're inside, just simply run the exit command and you'll automatically be navigated back to your main terminal. And if you run screen dash list now, you'll notice that the one you killed is gone. But if you wanna use the fastest approach, you can just kill the screen session by running screen dash S then the name of your screen followed by dash X quit. So how this works is we're saying run the quit command on the detached screen. And of course, this will immediately wipe it from your list of currently running screens. And now let's go over two more advanced ways that you can use screen for multitasking. So if you wanna quickly create a screen without leaving your main terminal session, you can run screen dash DMS, and then providing the name of your screen. And as you can see, a screen called blank dash slate 
was created without me having to leave the current session. And now let's go over one last command for advanced users. So if you look at the command that I'm running now, believe it or not, but you can start a new screen and tell it to run commands without attaching. So what I've done here is created a screen called Ninja, which is running a never ending script. And this is amazing because you can create multiple screens that immediately start running jobs. Of course, you can easily jump to any of those screens by using screen dash R. And yes, it's really doing what you think it's doing in the background. So for those of you wanting to multitask on your Raspberry Pi while on the go, this should be the ultimate solution to your problems. Thanks for watching. And for more on using screen or running anything forever on your Raspberry Pi, please consider subscribing to this channel.